Welcome back to the Cricket Today podcast. I'm your host, Liam McCallion, also known as the Stats Guy. As always, I'm here with Liam Mullally. Probably a cricket tragic, uh, cricket, cricket nerd. Tragic, oh, probably. I'll say definitely a cricket nerd. How cricket you going, expert. Man? And you introduced me first. So I'm feeling good. My mood's lifted. Was that now. a self proclaimed expert? That he just I didn't say expert, expert, but yeah. He, uh, there he, was he, a self proclaimed <laughs> expert, and I'll stand by that. Yeah, another self proclaimed expert is uh, Marcus Barzana. No, no, I don't Marcus? claim to be any sort of expert. No, you're not. I'm just. A just pert. Marcus. I'm just pert. Mr. Wisdom of Cricket. The Wiz. You, funny you say that. My friends call me Mr. Wisdom and they do I actually, don't know why. In the Ooh. comments. Yeah, yeah. So we'll have to see yeah. them in the comments. Uh, talking, of knowledge. talking about the comments, we've got Andrew TE 2157. Shout out. Shout out to him. We are doing this segment <laughs> you just today. Him out. You yeah. didn't uh, yeah. <laughs> That's the same as um, segues. He doesn't know what a shout out or a segue oh. is. Uh, we're doing the most controversial cricket moments in cricket history because mm. of Andrew. That changed the sport. What was that, sorry? That changed the sport. That changed the sport. That's another good way of putting it. So he's commented that and we're doing it. So make sure you get in yeah. our comments uh, on YouTube because if you comment you something, we might end up ask, doing it. We'll ask do anything. It will come. We will do anything. I, I shouldn't probably have said that as well. <laughs> <Should've paused after laughs> yeah, I probably should have paused after that. Uh, anyway, let's get right into it, lads. The most controversial moments in cricket history. Mm. And we're ranking our own just we're as a- We're ranking our own, up. one to five. So five to one, we're gonna build up to very our tough. most controversial, very tough. I think we're gonna have very different lists here. Yes. So we'll start at five. We'll go with you, Leo. Right. This is, here we go. Mr. Number Mr. five. Number five. Number five for you. The moment Virat Kohli picked up a cricket bat. Oh, that, is it? No, <laughs> it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, that was going to be one of my oh, honorable mentions. I thought you were going to say Johnny. Nah, nah, that that's not, that's not. Um, <laughs> what the hell? No, oh, I just, he changed, he changed the game. <laughs> now, nah, number five, I, I don't know if you guys will have this, World Series Cricket. I don't know. Yours is very more broad. Whoa. It's more, no? more broad. Whoa. No, I think that's, that's true because <laughs> you, it was very controversial. A, no, no. I, I, are you, do you guys have a very broad things? That is, mine are very specific. Very high for me, World Series Cricket. Interesting. Oh, I forgot uh, look, about I that. Think, I think there's a lot of controversies that are like on the same or like things that happen on the same level. It's very hard to rank them. The reason I have this, obviously, Kerry Packer convinced players to yes. not play nationally and play for play for him basically in a different mm -hmm. league. Way ahead of its time. Like in terms it of was, now yeah. we have T20, we have like day franchise. night cricket. Mm -hmm. And oh, yeah. yeah, day night cricket was made because of literally how yeah. good it went in the World Series cricket. They had day night matches. Yeah. And it, it changed how players sort of, I guess, treated the game. They had to become full-time. They had to be a lot fitter. Yep. And yeah, just the the pay as well was, it was crazy. Well, they so, were trying to get, it was funny because Australia was playing in normal matches, but then there was also this other the, Australian World Series team. So it was very weird. Do you mm. remember the the four teams in the- I don't, but I, I feel like you're going to I think I, I think I know. Maybe save them for later. I'll save them for I later. Just we'll save it. He's got a little teaser coming up. Yeah, I think watching. most people would, would know what the teams are. I think I would. I don't. Oh, before, I, I before think I, I have on, like yeah. a rough guess. Anyway, we'll yeah, get yeah. into that. We'll get into that later. Your five, Marcus? My five is the, the Hansi Krong match fixing. Okay. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. He doesn't yeah, have it, you can tell. No. I don't. Really <laughs> yeah. He was a South Africa uh, captain and, you know, he, he sort of talked with bookmakers before the test match oh, against England we've all, we've all done that. to sort of encourage a result, a particular result. Yeah, that's dodgy. Uh, um, and at the time, actually, it... it the game went ahead and it was it was lauded for actually its positivity of of attacking test match cricket because the first couple of days rained out mm -hmm. um and then yeah it only was found out months later that uh he was involved in match fixing and then he resigned uh as a national disgrace and then was banned from the sport for life wow so, there, you there you go that yeah. I only just realized that most of mine are a bit of fun compared to your really that's deep fine. controversial it's your list, mate. So it's my list though. So that's sure, all right. You can do whatever so, you want. So yeah, no, that is, that is a good one. It's that's, wrong, but you can do whatever you want. <laughs> that's a very good one. Uh, my one. Wrong. I just, <laughs> I just had to put this in there because it's very funny and we've talked about it Johnny almost Bester? on every show. Johnny Bairstow. Oh, yeah. yes. It has to be in there for a laugh. Come it's on. It's not even in the top no, 20. No, it is. Not. It is. It's not even in the top 20. I thought but you were definitely you were joking when you were saying that. It's actually right. <laughs> when we were writing this up, I literally said, I just want to have fun. Oh. And if, if we're doing controversial moments in my lifetime in cricket, that comes up in my head. You just sound mm. like a pom because it's not controversial. No, I, that's what I'm saying. But at the time, English people and English uh, fans, they, you got the England. It is controversial. It is. Yeah. For, for them, it like was. The decision. Like if, if yeah. they if they just accepted it, there's no controversy. I know, but that's well, that, they didn't accept it. That's the controversy. Anyway, I think I've got a pretty good. I don't know. It's still controversial. No, it's not top twenty. I agree with Mark. Whatever. Yeah, it, it's definitely not. not top twenty. Anyway, the fact that uh, you got the England fans, uh, Lords members hissing and uh, booing the Australian players, getting and really sl personal slurs, slurs yeah. and things like that were horrible. So Alex Carey, just for reference, just stumped uh, Johnny Besto, went for a walk down the pitch. Twenty twenty three Ashes. 
Johnny Besto got very angry. Didn't didn't say anything at lunch. There was a lot of beef. Even the England players thought it was out. They've uh, come out recently and said yeah, that. Who was it again? It was uh, Joe Root and yeah. uh, someone else said it as well on a podcast. <laughs> yeah. So just a very funny moment. I just wanted to put it in there because it's funny as an Australian that Kerry, uh, Kerry stumped Besto and Besto will never do that again in his career. When mm. I was making this <laughs> list, I didn't even like put thought to that. Like I in, so my, in my top five. All That's of, crazy. Oh, yeah. There's at least three or four of mine that you guys won't have just because I put yeah, them in okay. there for a bit oh, of fun. No, no. Okay. And, then, and you took the longest out of all three of us to, to do this. I, I, think <laughs> I, might, I might have taken them Oh, there you go. But all right. Uh, let's go to number four. What do you got, Leah? We'll, we'll keep oh, going this way. Okay. Number four. I've actually put Sandpaper Gate. Oh, I've Ooh. got. I might um, have that later. Yeah, don't have it. Oh, don't have it. Yeah, fair. I just think um, the impact at the time on Australian cricket, like we yeah. at the time had no trust in the Aussie players. We were like, they are cheats. They are frauds. They uh, Warner and Smith get a year ban, and that obviously changed how they went about it after they came back. Yep. Warner had to sort of change his image a little bit. So, same with Smith. Smith wasn't captain. It changed our whole captaincy, our whole leadership. And it obviously changed poor Cam Bancroft because he was set for a promising career and that was brutal, that kind yeah. of uh, set him back yeah. as well. That was, that was a bad, probably, honestly, 24 to 36 months of cricket in Australia. Yeah. Because then we when, had the um, Tim India Payne. came over here. Well, then we went to we, UAE, <coughs> play Pakistan. Opening Aaron Finch in, yep. in the series. That that India, India smashed us. Uh, yeah. And then the, the whole Tim Payne controversy as well. Off mm. the back of that, yep, he became captain. Yeah, it was, a, it was a very sort of dark time. It's more how it changed Australian cricket. I think the impact was felt globally as well. Um, and let's be honest, every international side has ball tampered. I think the way we sort of, I guess, I think treated was, the uh, punish, treated yeah, what yeah. happened, yeah, is how it should have been treated. I don't think they should. Oh, have I think they were very harshly done. That's what I was going to maybe a little less. About. Yeah, I yeah, think compared less. To, yeah, compared to like. You know, Previous. Panasar openly mm. admitting that they used Mentos on the ball when he was bowling. Yeah. Atherton's one as well. Yeah. Like definitely compared to others, it's harsh, but I think that's how you have to get it out of the game. Maybe could have been a little less, especially yeah. for Bancroft, who was clearly under instruction. Yeah. Like he would never yeah, have done Do you want to hear a bit of context of what happened? Yeah. With the oh, so yeah, David Warner and Steve Smith just sort of went up to poor old Cameron Bancroft, gave him some sandpaper. Where are they even getting that from? And uh, just said, hey, just rub it on the ball and yeah, we'll throw you to the fire. Yeah, that, yeah. W- that was pretty bad. I think Steve Smith, which I was going to get into as well, literally just put his name. I don't know if how, how involved he was in that. That's the ho- We don't know. Because he was captain. He, we don't know. Been. He was captain. I reckon. Do you reckon he would have known about, he would have known about it, mm. but I don't, I feel like he wasn't as involved as David Warner. That's yeah, just, But that's just because we don't absolutely. like David Warner. <laughs> yeah, I, I think the argument is there for definitely impacting Australian cricket going forward, but it's yep. just then about the argument to international cricket. I still think mm. it was felt worldwide. Yep. Yeah. No, fair call. Cool. What's your for, Marcus? Well, I've got another one that circled around international cricket, but also focused on Australia, and it's underarm ball. Yep. The Whoa. underarm ball. Mine's, yeah, later off that. Bit of context. Australia were playing against New Zealand. New Zealand needed six runs. They needed six off the last ball to win the game. Uh, it was Greg Chappell instru- instructed his brother, Trevor, who was bowling, to bowl underarm and roll the ball against the pitch so mm-hmm. the batsman couldn't hit a six. Um, according to the rules, it was okay at the time, and like it was legal technically, like bending the rules. Yep. Uh, but yeah, after that incident, um, the rule came in that you cannot do that, um, and it just changed the the laws of cricket from that point onwards. Mm-hmm. It did. It did. Yeah. Yeah. No. Fair call. Cool. I think I'm gonna. I'm, I think that should be a lot. Higher though on the controversial one. That's because it that's was Michael. He was um that's yeah, that was like underarmed what, and the New, was, New Zealand batsman threw his bat. Yeah, that was wild. Yeah, Twenty yeah. meters. Yeah, they actually recreated it in a charity match at New Zealand Australia a couple of years ago. I saw, <laughs> and uh, they did the underarm, but yeah. it was legal, but so dodgy. Like spirit yeah. of cricket, which is yeah. talked about. It's like the only sport that has a spirit. spirit. Like like Rich, Richie yeah. Richie Benno had a whole segment on Channel Nine. Yeah. Um, just talking about was, how disgraceful it was. He's like, to I do can't that. believe I have to commentate my Australian team and all this stuff. Mm. Yeah, it was brutal. Mm. That was yeah. that was pretty bad. Uh, what are we What are we doing again? Number four. Yeah, yeah. I'm going. <laughs> I meant to say, <laughs> what are we up to? I this guy's the, what the, what the host. host to? I forgot what we're up to. Host of our show. <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> no, where are we? Is that a moon? Um, <laughs> uh, Shahid Boom Boom Afridi bites the ball. Okay, I just yeah. like this one because you love it. You always talk about this. I one. always talk about this. So uh, Shahid Afridi probably. My favorite non-Australian cricketer of all time, which is a weird call, but he is. Mm -hmm. But this is wild. He's on Channel 9 in Australia. Live, the camera zoomed in on his head. uh, And it's a T20, (laughs) I'm pretty sure. In 2010, Pakistan versus Australia. 
He literally just bites the ball like an apple. What, you, what is he thinking? Live on TV, bites the ball like an apple. The uh, umpires get something in there going, uh, yeah, can you just check the ball? They zoom in on the ball. There's bite marks in the ball. The fact that it's actually put <laughs> yeah. dents in I know. Yeah. He's, that means he swallowed Crazy. a bit of, bit of leather. His like, jaw muscles are yeah. I know. His yeah. <laughs> teeth must be just like. <laughs> he does. Maybe he has vampire teeth. Like he's, he's, been, nah, he's been chewing on gobstoppers since, gobstoppers. He, was, <laughs> since he came out of the womb. <laughs> So that was that's just wild. Uh, was only banned for two matches. I think that's more controversial than what he actually did. How the hell was he only banned for two matches? That's what yep. we were talking about with sandpaper. Yeah, game. like they were only banned for like a ten year or compared something. to two matches. Yeah, mm. let's get some middle ground going. I know, and that should I know. be the, the punishment. <laughs> and Pakistan, they needed him at the time, so they're like, oh, we'll just take the two matches. We're not going to do any more punishment yeah. compared to Australia, where they're like, okay. yeah, we're just going to ban was that, you for two was years. Was that an internal ban? The the Aussie one? Yes. yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah was, the ICC was only yeah, like Leo said, I think it was. 10 or something like that, five sure. or 10. I'm pretty sure it was 10 matches was the original thing. And they're yeah. like, it's it's weird. The ICC doesn't give big bans. And I think that's more controversial than what Afridi did. Yeah. You only got two matches. Yeah, like biting a ball unreal. on live TV. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. that's my one. I just Not my five. Funny. Not your fault. No, that's no, all right. Neither, my no. five is just different. It's just a bit of fun. He's a different guy. I'm a different guy. He's yeah. special. Yeah. <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Leo, Top number three. three. We're getting, we're getting. Um, I've gone with in. Pakistan spot fixing. Okay. Oh, so. me too. Oh, oh number three. Oh. Oh. Let's go. <laughs> um, yeah, so Muhammad Asif, Muhammad Amir, and Salman Butt conspired to deliver, uh, deliberately bowl no balls. Yeah, that's Very right. Very controversial. Mm. Yeah. Took a bribe, obviously, mm. by a, book a bookmaker mm -hmm. uh, before the game. Um, they were, were banned by the ICC for five years uh, yeah. from international and domestic cricket and um, there was only two months into someone but's captaincy. Mm. Um, so crazy. Yeah, it wasn't a great way to start his tenure. Um, and then obviously jail sentences were handed out to those three. That's players. right. I forgot about that. That's yeah. wild. Mm. Uh, like, oh. But got sentenced two years, six months, Asif, one year, six months for Amir, and two years, eight months for Majid. Who, who bowled the no balls. That's crazy. Mm. So that's that's your number three, Lats. That's my number Are we three. just going straight my to me? My number three as well. Yeah, yeah oh, we, just, we kind of like joined together. Yeah, yeah we joined you, forces. You guys are always on the same page. Then It's just me. It's just me <laughs> like being actually fun on the show. He's it's not just boring. stats guy. Yeah. Whenever he goes, <laughs> he's just the stats guy. <laughs> I'm <know>. just stats. <laughs> oh my God. I got more than stats, Lads. All right, next one I'm doing is Murally in 1996. Daryl Hare, the umpire, kept calling him for a no ball when he wasn't oh, actually throwing yes. it. And yeah. I know if this was any other context, well, it wouldn't be that controversial, but this is the leading wicket taker of all time. He was already very established in his career. He's got 800? Yeah, 800. 800 yeah. He's got eight, no, 800, yeah. on, the on, the 800 on the dot. 800 on the dot. He's the only one with 800 uh, test wickets. Uh, sorry, or is that might be in total. Was it test, test, wickets? Wickets. test wickets, yeah, yeah, it has to be test wickets. Uh, Daryl Hare, he woke up one morning. He, he, they've interviewed him a lot of times. He said, I've been thinking about it for a few years. And he said, I'm going to call him for a no ball here because obviously Muriel's action is very chucky and throwy. Questionable. Questionable. Well, yeah. then, then the very next week he got tested by the ICC and they ticked off uh, the degrees of his art. Was it, fifth, is it 15, 15 degrees? Has yeah. to be. So mm. yeah, for it to be straight, that was just really controversial because Muriel is supposed to be the best or one of the best bowlers of all time from Sri Lanka, obviously. And, and uh, Daryl yeah, there was they, being a dick. The... He, he called him for seven no balls. They had to take him off. They had a 15 minute break because the umpires were arguing. Then there was a yep. phone call from the ICC that said, Look, you probably shouldn't be doing this. You should have discussed this. I just had read an article before. So very controversial yeah. at the time. Didn't, they, didn't yeah. the Sri Lanka team, like, didn't they threaten to walk off? Yeah, they? they did. So that that's why uh, I think that's the other reason why they stopped. There was 15 minutes because the uh, captain was arguing, the umpires were arguing. Then even the English players are like, look, <clears throat> we, you don't have to call it a no ball. We can sort this out or something like that. The umpire, yeah. Daryl Hare was just a bit of a big head and uh, wanted the spotlight on him for a day, I think. So mm. that was a bit uh, controversial. Look, I don't hate it. He was only doing what everyone was thinking. So. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, we've lost uh, all of yeah, our Sri viewers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he got tested, lads. It was it yeah. was, a, it was a legal delivery. He Why did he get like, you tested? Yeah, what for? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going there. Un undisclosed. Uh, uh, oh, my God. All right, next one. Number two, we're heating up. Number two, what Ooh. do you got? I've gone the underarm ball at number two. Okay. The reason I had this above others yep. is because there was an actual rule change that followed this, and I think that's a pretty big impact on cricket. Yep. Mm. And, yeah, it was just astonishing both at the time and now. I won't go in it, into it too much because Marcus already touched on it, but, yeah, I've got that at two. Yep. What do you I, don't think, I don't think you guys have this by the sounds of it. I've gone the Lahore terrorist attack. I do not have Boy, that. I, I haven't gone Very that dark. Deep. Jesus. <laughs> Very dark. Yeah, that's that's horrible. Um, but 12 gunmen fired shots, grenades, even rocket when, launchers. When was this? Uh, good look. question. I'll have a look. 19 I'll have a look. something. Yeah, that's right. Um, yeah, even rocket launchers at the Sri Lankan team bus Jesus. on their way to day three of the, the second test against Pakistan. 
2009. 2009, yeah. Jeez, that yeah. was, I, I do recall this actually, I'm just reading it now. Six, yeah. Pakistan, that was horrible. Six Pakistan police officers, three oh. civilians were killed. Horrible. Um, yeah, it, it had been coming though, because in Pakistan, the lead up to that, in the years leading up, uh, New Zealand had a tour there. Mm. There was a suicide bomber incident outside their hotel. Yep. Um, horrible. And international cricket soon after there was banned in Pakistan and it still is to this day. Pakistan play their home games in the UAE. Yes. So, so we're talking about yeah. controversial moments that change cricket forever. I think bang. That's well. Yeah, well, and that so the controversial part of that is like you said, there's there was teams going there still when it was dangerous. A lot of, so a lot that of was teams, pretty wild. A yeah. lot of teams pulled out. Australia mm. pulled out yep. uh before I think it was two thousand and two. Yep. Um New Zealand have pulled out there before and, and a host, host of other teams. I've actually seen some of our comments of uh, like Afghanistan and uh, Pakistan fans not liking Australia, the team, because they didn't go mm. there. But I'm pretty sure they have some fair reasons when there's war and uh, mm. terrorist attacks going on. So that was that was a fair reason. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So, but, but definitely controversial. Uh, what uh, My two, we've already talked about the two that I have left, but Sandpaper Gate, I think yeah. that has to be two because – the way that Warner, Smith, and Bancroft were treated was like they were war criminals. I remember yeah, watching was, the news. Yeah. They, yeah. they 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 came into the airport. It was like they were, they literally murdered someone. I was like going Warner yeah. criminals. Well, yeah, Warner criminals. Yeah, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> it it reminded me of um, the was same so sort of scenes when what was that chick who who like oh, she did those Chappelle 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 Yeah, well, she actually had a boogie board full of drugs. These guys just <laughs> cheated in a cricket game. Like yeah. the yeah. fans follow Sam. Yeah, 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 exactly. They were <laughs> escorted by police. It was wild. Steve Smith's there crying. Like at first, I was really angry because like the Aussies in sport are supposed to be like very yeah, good spirit and things like that. Everyone especially, was shocked, like, especially in cricket. I remember yeah. even we had talking every like, right to be angry. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. It was very harsh. The, the, the harsh, country. and then they were yeah. making their Smith cry. That was brutal. I just remember watching that on TV. Smith cried on national television. Yeah, and yeah. then the English just had a million chants about that for the last ten years. That whole yeah. that was wild. series yes. was crazy. Do you remember the against South Africa? Yes, Warner. Yeah, um, there was a little beef, in the, yeah, yeah. yeah, and then Rabada and Smith thing, which I think Smith was overreacting a little bit. Like Rabada gave him a little nudge, yeah. like come on. But um, yeah, the Warner and Decock stuff was that was really heating. That up. was yeah. crazy. Yeah, that's probably that was why like Warner's gone. Doors, like, like, oh, I want to bloody get out, get a South African. So we'll just Tuesdays get some, and, <laughs> get some know, uh, like, sandpaper. Yeah, we've yeah. come a long way though. I saw. I think even last year, Hazelwood was signing a sandpaper piece of sandpaper. We've come he a long was, way. Yeah, I remember he, that. He yeah. wasn't a part of it, but uh, that's the other thing. I reckon there was more players than just well, Warner, people, Smith, and Bank. Remember, Bancroft. people said that, and I think Mitch Starr came out and said. We had like no idea. He was really angry and was like, no, we didn't know and was really upset. People were- oh, That surprises me though. If you're in the rooms, yeah. like- My thing Because there's no been, sandpaper in normal rooms, right? My, but what's the know. sandpaper actually doing? Like, I feel like we had it for like an over. It wouldn't have done anything. Like, uh, like I'm not saying that like yeah. it makes it any no, worse, no, but I'm no, just no, saying no. like, how would the bowlers have known yeah. if we had it for like, say, a couple of overs? Mm. The person bowling probably wasn't none the wiser. Mm. I don't mm. know. I'm th just thinking about it. Why did they not tape it to their- to their pocket and then no one would ever know. Stats guy. I'm just thinking about it. <laughs> I probably shouldn't stop saying that. <laughs> He's I, I, don't, something I don't think every, Australia should every, <laughs> every international team right now is like, shut up, stats guy. You know how <laughs> don't, do, don't you think? Uh, Why couldn't they, if they stitched it or taped it to the inside of their pocket? Maybe it was just spur of the moment. All I'm saying is Bancroft war and Warner just dumb. Yeah, Dumb it was just spur, yeah, yeah. spur of the moment, I reckon. Yeah. That's why they didn't tape it. Yeah, that is. I think that's the biggest in my lifetime. The Sandpaper Paper Gate, number one. Number Here we one. go. I think mm. we've already said my number one, but I can still say it. We'll go again with you, Leo. What do you guys, your number one? What was your number one? Oh, so do you want me to go first? Yeah, you go first. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah, look, unfortunately, at number one, I've got Phil Hughes' tragic death. Oh, controversial? Well, it's not controversial. It's more than a moment That's that a, changed cricket yeah. forever. Okay. Yeah. Um, it did, yeah, yeah. It's not a controversial moment. Yep. It's just obviously incredibly sad. Um, and also rest in peace to, to Phil Hughes. Absolutely. Because that day just rocked Australia. That was horrible. It changed people's perception on the short ball. Mm. So people went away for it for a little bit. I know like the Aussie tactics changed for a while. Yep. Um, but the reason I have it so high up and how it changed cricket forever is that it updated helmet equipment. Yep. yep. We're seeing regular concussion tests for batsmen. Every time, Every time someone gets in the head. Yeah, true. Doctor has to come out. True. And there's now concussion subs as well. And I just think that day is just sort of changed mm. just how cricket is being played mm. forever just the way you go about it and you think twice now when someone gets in the head yeah the 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 look looking at a controversial side of it the players that don't wear the like if i'm playing professional cricket mm. at a high grade that they're bowling 130 plus or whatever 
that there's a lot of players that don't have that uh, uh, neck guard. Neck guard. Like, yeah. that's, Extension. That's Isn't that compulsory now? Or? I, don't, I don't know if it is because well, I, think it is. I, I swear yeah. I saw an international. So that I think that's controversial that there's players not wearing it when yeah. someone died for when getting I, hit there. When or, I put yeah. this at one, it wasn't in terms of like a controversial no, fine, moment. Yeah, yeah. It was yeah. just because I think it's actually changed cricket. But it was a moment that changed cricket. Absolutely. Yeah, I, yeah, remember, right. I remember coming home that day. I was <laughs> like playing under 12. You guys would have been young or I was as well, yeah. Um, like we were really young and like you're seeing that you're playing this game as a kid. Yeah. And you don't you think you come home no one, like, And I think this is one of the quotes from one of the Aussie players. Yeah, no, no one ever thought you could die. Yeah, hundred percent. From it. And Uzi Kawaj just said that. Yeah. yeah, it was just incredibly mm. tragic and yeah. yeah, just such a sad day. It did change cricket, that's for sure. Yeah, for mm. sure. Right, um, what's your number one, yeah. Marcus? World Series cricket. Oh yeah, yeah fair. I yeah. think I think uh, I think it definitely had to be up there. Um, Kerry Packer didn't get the broadcasting rights from the ABC for the, the upcoming summer of cricket. Yeah. So he's like, screw you guys. I'm going to create my own brand of cricket called World Series Cricket. That was wild. Obviously, Leo <laughs> mentioned he took the best players from around the world and convinced them not to play for their nation and to play in this World Series Cricket where they get paid very, That's very well. That's crazy convincing. Uh, uh, well, money, 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 does. money. He was very rich. Um, he's family, the four rich. teams. <laughs> Do you know a stats guy? Go on. You, you Can I guess him? Uh, so Australia, Australia, New Zealand, wrong. West Indies. India. West nope. Indies? Oh, the West Indies was one. No India. Sri Lanka. South Africa. Australia 11, West Indies 11, Cavaliers 11, rest of world 11. Cleveland Cavaliers? What's the Cavaliers? What is that? Where's that from? I don't Cleveland. know. Cleveland? What the hell? <laughs> were the Cal- they were the four teams in World Series cricket. Wait, really? Yep. Uh, the ICC stepped into that competition when it was happening. They started banning players from playing test matches and yeah. first class cricket. And then it ultimately came to a to an abrupt end. But mm. it did bring some good things. Like we mentioned, we brought it brought... Players playing more regularly and and professional now. Um, mm. A lot you had to be a lot fitter because players were playing. Yeah. Um, within shorter shorter day gaps. Um, Do you think it was? <laughs> it's a bit crazy that we had that late seventies, and then we don't have T twenties till mid two thousands. Mm. Well, and then, and yeah, then day true. night cricket like another decade and a bit after. It was weird. Like, yeah. It just seems like that happened, and I don't know. It feels I think like it was there, all, was, there was a lot a, of it filled with for. like. It, uh, the negative connotation going of away from tradition or I think it probably had to wait a little bit to yeah. maybe yeah the traditionalists were like we want to see the white clothing and the red yeah, 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 and, yeah, yeah pretty much <laughs> yeah there was like different different coloured kits there was yellow yellow, blue it was cool, maroon yeah. for the West yeah. Indies I think it was brown just way ahead of its yeah. time it was awesome yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, was. I wish I was that. alive so that, yeah that and definitely the was the crowds were packed out were like yeah. the best crowds I've ever seen that's and, actually that's that doc is the docker called Packer Packer have you guys seen that? Yeah, the one oh, was on Channel Nine, Nine, I think. Channel, it, that was yeah. really good, and that was that has the whole storyline of that. And it's yeah. very, that shows a lot of controversial moments because Kerry Packer was a brutal, very very scary man. Mm. That's why. That's the other reason why it was a bit controversial because a lot of people didn't like him. Yeah, yeah. but his his thoughts towards cricket were good. So yeah, yeah, he got well, like he took the, the English captain, the, yeah. the the former Pakistan captain, the soon to be Pakistan captain. It was crazy. Yeah, um, money, just Australian talks. captain, everything. Yeah, Dennis Lilly. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, my number one, lads, we already talked about it, but the underarm bowling incident. I think that has to be number one. We already talked about it uh, mainly, but the fact that Greg Chappell, the captain, convinced his younger brother to bowl that, he's like, all right, you're not going to be my brother anymore if you don't do that. Because, like, apparently everyone <laughs> on the field said- you don't bowl like Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Apparently everyone on the field, even Trevor was like, I don't want to do this, but he's like, i got to listen to my captain. And he really didn't want to do it, underarm the ball, and then controversial. You could Remember? tell he didn't want to do it because as soon as he let underarm the he's ball, like, he turned around like, and grabbed oh, the hat off the know, umpire and then walked off. That would, like, spirit of cricket, I'm trying to think if you could do that in any other sport, like bend the rules like that, but I don't. I couldn't really think of it. Yeah. Obviously, it changed the cricket, train cricket Not forever. Not to the extent, like, you know, yeah. AFL, Aussie mm. rules, football, for those watching, you can, like, ex- accentuate free kicks. Yeah, Not to true, that true. extent, though. No, yeah. so this is, it was just nuts. And spirit of cricket, as we've talked about before, it was, the biggest test of the spirit mm. of cricket. And if I was in New Zealand, I would have been so mad. They obviously did six off the last they're ball. They're still mad at us, but we're just like, eh. Yeah, yeah New, New Zealand, Zealand don't win anything, so it doesn't matter. But that was brutal. And that was in World Series cricket as well. So that, yeah. that was also a bit controversial because people, uh, when was this? 1981. So still pretty new World Series cricket. First year, I think. Was it the first year? I think no, it was no, no. Late, late 70s. 79. Yeah, late 70s. Was no, it I thought 70... it ended in 79, didn't it? Was uh, it no, 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 no. I don't, I don't think so. Maybe it was ODI. Yeah. yeah, it was an ODI, but I, I think it was a part of the World Series. Anyway. 77 or 79 World Series. Oh, well, it might have been yeah. an ODI. Must have been an ODI. Anyway, they uh, yeah, they weren't happy in New Zealand, and that was really, really controversial. Was mm. that the only moment we all shared in our list? The other and one the Iron Sand Pepper Gate. Oh, no, did you, you didn't have that? Gate. There you go. Yeah, so Underarm Ball underarm. was the only 
Shout out my guy Chapel. Commodore. Yeah, yeah. So shout out to Andrew TE2157. Because yes. uh, we wouldn't have done Great that without list. him. Yep. We had a lot of, uh, yeah, bit of a run down memory lane there. It was fun. A bit yeah, of fun. I enjoyed bit of, it. Bit of fun. Bit of uh, sad times, good times that have been in cricket over the years. So let us uh, know in the comments what you'd like to see next. Yeah, anything well. you want us to do, yeah. just let us know. Because that's what we uh, like to do on the Cricket yep. Day Show. We'll do it. We'll do anything for... Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. I was gonna say hundred, <laughs> but what, twenty. Leo will do anything for twenty. All right, that's that's done for the cricket today show. We'll be back with this next week uh, for yeah another evergreen sort of video. Uh, make sure you check us out on socials. We're doing a lot on there. Going to do a yes. stumple, maybe some rankings. Basically doing a short a day. So a just short get a day. It. There we go. So get around the socials. That's cricket today. Au. Send in any questions. Get around the comments. Make sure you subscribe. Thank you very much, Joe, behind the camera. Thanks, Leo. Thank you, Stats Guy. Thank, thank you, Marcus. And thank you, Gerald. <laughs> Sorry, don't cut me off. <laughs> wow. Thank you, Marcus. Oh, thanks, Stats Guy. Oh, I thought he was going to do the same as you. Uh, thanks to me. And that's another episode for you today. Done. We're out. If you like this show, make sure you check out all the other shows in the Sports Today Network, from the AFL Today Show to the Cricket Today Podcast, the Football Today Podcast, as well as NBA Australia and NFL Australia. With Sports Today, your sporting needs have never been easier to cover.